King knows this. All of you who have submitted your resumes need to know it. I tend to um, pillage and burn on these because it's fun and because telling you what's right isn't as much fun. So uh, here we go. File display. Let's have at it. So uh, he put um, just his handle on for here, took everything else off, which is good. Um, full stack is a recruiter term. Uh, I would say I wouldn't do full stack and other people seem to be saying that. Uh, uh, yeah. And I, I like what Attila the mom says, which is if they're asking for a full stack engineer, give them a resume that says full stack. If they're asking for something else, give them a software engineer. I think Attila nailed this one. And Attila, I appreciate you being here. You're a good commentator when you're present, which is a coded way of saying show up more. Um, I mean, what else do you have to do? Oh, right. Attila the mom. Lots of things. Anyway, uh, what else we got? Um, so you asked me, you had only worked at one company. Have you always had the same title and the same role? The thing that makes your resume weak is it looks like you've been five years and you haven't been promoted or gotten any new responsibility. So what I coach people to do here, and I will admit this is semi-shady. I don't normally coach things that are semi-shady, but um, I might make up two titles if I could at all justify them. Uh, Hearthstar, thank you for gifting, Attila. That was really nice of you. Uh, now you have to be here. I like I like the uh, I like the pressure. Um, <clears throat> so uh, full stack engine, you know, I would try and see could I even if I had to make up something that no one would argue with, like entry level engineer or you know junior engineer, and then full stack engineer, because it shows some sense of progress and it gives you a way to emphasize that you've been there five years. It uh, gives you a way to pull out and tease out that you've progressed. Because what I worry about in this is we talk about this question, do you have five years of experience or do you have one year of experience repeated five times? And that latter thing is not in your favor. So I would try and figure out any way that was not lying. Um, uh, and Victor TV, yes, you can... Um, uh, uh, you can, uh, submit a new resume. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> and I will get to it tonight if I can, I'm going to do this till I run out of steam or till I have to ask for my chicken stir fry to be bought, brought up here. And we might do something fun. I might do several resumes. This is a plan. I'm now on a plan. Actually, I'm going to do several resumes and teach you guys how I review them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the stir fry stir fry brought up see there is vodka in that drink and while i eat some of it i'm gonna let you guys review one of them so i'm gonna let you help out and see how much you've learned so that is your participation exercise coming up in maybe 20 minutes or so after we do a few is i'm gonna let you guys review them and chat okay um Let's see, this resume, now we go into it. I said I'd break it up to show progress any way I could. I wouldn't flat out lie, but man, I'd stand on my head. Um, there is no uh, submit command. Uh, and it is true, by the way, if you want a deeper review than I do online. Uh, online, I whiz through them and I give what advice I can. If you want a deeper review, I do personal reviews in email at great length. Um, uh and give extra resources for those who donate to my favorite charity. So if you want to do that, uh, you fill out a form um, and uh, <clears throat> it's with the help command. You can fill out a form and I do custom reviews, but you're going to pay for it. Now you're going to pay for it in a good way. You're going to pay for it by donating to a worthy cause. And I give you more help than I can here online. And if you don't want to do that, it's free help tonight. Um, I don't require anyone at all to do that, but you have the choice. I also do LinkedIn that way. All right. So what I like about this resume is it's specific. Um, developed and launched a website, which became blah, blah, blah. The problem is the next bullet is a run-on sentence from the first one, resulting in saving the company an average of 10 hours at each facility. 
that's part of the previous bullet. So it either needs to be indented under it or you need to make it read in English. Um, and so this resume has good information. It is not well written in English because redundantly checking accuracy and status of work orders should say by double checking. Redundant is a negative word. So you need to edit this for English or get someone else to edit it for English. And Demon King, I don't recall if you're a native speaker of English. Maybe I should know. Bigger, please. Hmm. All right. It's already pretty big. I don't know if it'll blow up more, but maybe. Bigger, please. Yeah, it ends up off the side of the screen. Um, but that shows most of it. We're, we're only clipping a tiny bit. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so you guys can live with that as a view. Um, developed a web app which aimed to be a face to be Facebook without compromising privacy. Really, you developed redeveloped Facebook. Uh, created majority of the front end using Vue and the back end uh, using Django. Um, work features included this, that, and the other. There are no results on this. So again, for five years of time. I'm wondering about your results. You have one website that saved 10 hours. And what are, you know, if you're an engineer, what's these, are these additional responsibilities? You clearly are actually in some other job where you do more than just engineering. You're like IT or something. And so I would be honest about that and say, look, I've done, I want, oh, which you're missing an objective, right? In other words, if you're in an IT role, you need to be honest about it or whatever your role is. Uh, Demon King, what is it? But then you need to um, you need to uh, own all your results and just have an objective that says you want something else. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um, you deployed ten plus Raspberry Pi scanners. Great. You developed mobile apps which could scan, catalog, and locate materials. Um, it's been a blend of programming and IT. So, what's your actual title? Like your um. You have a lot of good data here. I would I would find a way though not to call my other stuff additional responsibilities and I would have an objective to sort out what it is you want. Um, deployed 10 scanners, develop mobile apps. Uh, if you can quantify some of these results, it's really good. So what did those result in? What was hard about it? Expanded workflow for employees to streamline processing work orders effectively. That bullet sucks. Um, the last thing you want to do is like expand a workflow. So you want to turn this into an impact or what problem did you solve? What was ineffective and what did you make better? And can you put a measurement on it? Um, One Drum Tech has this exactly right. Star. I talk about this all the time. One Drum, I don't know if you've been here before, but he has exactly the right answer. Every bullet should answer what situation was I in, which you can answer once I was working at this company. What task was I doing? What action did I take? And what result did I generate? He has this exactly right. If you write your resume so that bullets follow this, you win. If you don't, you might win, but it's more on luck. Um, and by the way, we said we talk about resumes in a recession. Everything is more important in a recession because there are more desperate people competing for jobs. And there are people with more experience than you who have a mouths to feed and mortgages to pay who will take a less senior job in order to have a paycheck. And so suddenly you're competing against people for a job that they normally wouldn't consider because they need a job. Attil is right. Anything you can say about security is money. Uh, you have the standard skills piece um, and you have the standard degree piece. Uh, those are both fine. Um, the skills are good. Yeah, this is standard boilerplate at the bottom of a tech resume. There's nothing wrong there. All the work you need to do needs to be up getting this top in star format uh, and working on the English.